and welcome back uh, to Avignon Native Fortress. Um, actually going to do three levels today. Um, the reason being is um, at the end of this, um, there's a, a boss level. So, um, uh, yeah, rather than start the next um, video on a boss level, we'll um, end it, this video on a boss level. Um, so exciting times. Um, this is a, another level where we can't get all of the crates on just yet. I think we need the pink gem um, or the red gem. <laughs> what one thing with Crash One is I can never remember which um, levels or which gems are active in, in which levels. <laughs> There's like two yellow gems or you know like one orange, one yellow, whatever. There's like a pink gem, a red gem that look very similar in colour. Um, the green gem I definitely know. Um, from a blue gem as well. I think what makes it a bit more complicated as well is that um, some of the gems activate in multiple levels. Uh, a bit different from Crash 2 or Crash 3, or even Crash 4 in that regard. Yeah, there's um, six. Um, I guess we call like colour gems. I, I don't know, like just um, gems that aren't grey. Sometimes I'm able to get that live, but I didn't want to risk it without uh, an Akuma. There we go. Now, uh, actually, interestingly enough, if you go into a Torna bonus, even if you don't intend on completing it, well, I think there's only five crates and that as well. Uh, but yeah, it's worth doing uh, just because it acts as a checkpoint. Um, so even if you don't complete it, um, if you are to sort of lose a life, um, you get transported back to that portal. So um, I am actually planning on, on doing a, a crash race. Um, we've done a crash one race, but uh, a crash two race. Um, with a, a few uh, Twitch fans, and yeah, when when we did the crash one uh, race, that's sort of one of the tactics that I used on uh, in particular uh, the high road level um, and road to nowhere but yeah just sneak behind that wall that helps you avoid most of the uh, enemies and uh, <laughs> hazards um, and there's actually no crates um, that you'll be missing by doing so, so well worth doing. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, there's that gem that we need uh, in order to get the rest of them. I don't know whether that's from like, is it lights out or slippery climb? Yeah, on, on this one you just sort of want to go here on the second thing and that acts as a little break point. It is possible to make it across without uh, in, in one go, but again, something that I find pretty difficult at the time. Um, yeah, I think it's coming up to the end. We'll bother in those. Again, quite a, a long level, and you'll find that the levels start getting a bit more substantive um, as compared to the earlier ones. Uh, I'd say we'll switch over to Coco. Uh, so this is uh, another level where we can get um, a uh, gem uh, for getting all of the crates. So yeah, just what I keep your mind uh, on, on the boxes. 
and now open filter. <laughs> yeah, just uh, make sure to, to grab all the crates that you see. There are a couple of uh, tricky ones. We're gonna say, can't remember there being a ton of bones, but I guess there must be. Yeah, there are some levels that don't have any bonus stages at all, curiously enough. Um, so we'll get to those when we get to them. Uh, but not those to worry about just yet. Again, Crash 1 is one of those games where, a bit like Sonic 2, there's like so much like cut content or, you know, concepts that weren't quite utilised. Uh, it's quite interesting just to have a, a read through. Um, now your eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed something a little suspicious earlier on. So what you want to do is get that exclamation mark box. those crates you can blow them up like this so again a little bit sneaky but um, yeah okay. not sure why that wasn't activated um, I think it worked to our advantage <laughs> the fish do their jump Yeah, Crash 4 actually is pretty interesting in that it allows you to play as Crash or Coco on pretty much any level. Um, so you're not sort of limited as you are in um, Crash 1. Um, I'm just holding on to the X button. Uh, as I'm bouncing on these, that gives you a slightly higher bounce that uh, might make it a little easier for you because it sort of slows your descent. Go. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, so, failing a bonus round, you don't lose your life, but you do lose your Aku Aku. Uh, that's a mask. Um, now, fortunately, because the next level is a boss level, I think your mask gets set anyway. But, um, yeah, let's try to let that happen. There we go. Sorry, Tana. Second time lucky, right? I think we're coming up towards the end. Yeah, probably should have waited for another cycle there, but hey, we made it. And that's um, gem number four. So hey, 25%, no, 24, but <laughs> after we beat Ripper Room, we should be good to go. So let's give it a go. I do like this boss theme, actually. And... Um, so yeah, Ripperu will hop around in sort of a set pattern. Um, there is a way to time. So basically, we've got to jump on these TNTs and essentially time. I think it's like three jumps. jumps over there now and that should work in our favour okay so I like staying in the centre here um, 
awesome. <laughs> yeah, so what once you sort of know the timing, it, it's not too difficult, but yeah, it's um, just sort of getting used to that. Okay, and um, so we call it here, guys. Um, now, this is going to be a big old level. <laughs> Those who know will know. <laughs> so we'll catch you then for the Lost City. Bye.